Hi everyone. Today I'm going to teach you guys uh, the part of speech. So I'm going to cover the noun. All right. So um, you don't get it. I'm here to help you. Okay. Some of us, we know the noun. Okay. Sugar. House. Uh, line. Canada. U.S. Congo. Japan. Cuba. Jamaica. Rwanda. France, Germany, computer. So, inside of a uh, part of a sp uh, part of a speech, we have le nom. In French, we say le nom in French noun, article, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. Okay, so we have them inside some part. Uh, uh, in French, we say variable. Uh, the other part is invariable. So the other uh, thing change. The other one don't. Okay. The other part don't change. Okay. So um, I'm gonna go with you guys step by step. Okay. In case you don't get it, but we're gonna focus on right here now. Okay. Le no in French. So the the way I put this, guys. You know, when you, let's say you live in Ontario, Canada, okay? And then we have a different type of driving uh, license. We have a G1, we have a G2, and we have the G. Now, you see, let's put like this. Let's say that you never drive before. You don't know how to drive. Can you drive uh, like the big truck? Mm -mm. You need what? You need a license that one gonna help you to learn how to write the test, like the driving test first, the theory. After that, you're gonna go to the practice one. So you cannot just drive the huge truck without knowing how to drive the small car, right? Same thing. How can you write an essay or a paragraph if you don't know how to write a sentence? To write a sentence, you're gonna see we got uh, like the simple sentence. We have now we have subject, verb, and the complement, right? And inside of noun, okay, we have person. Okay, we have a person. Let's say Kevin is a person. Stephen is a person. Amy is a person. Abby is a person, Pindi is a person, right? We also got the place, okay, Niagara Falls, okay? We also got the things, computer, uh, horse, uh, let's say computer, we got some car, bicycle, motorcycle, those are the things or so object. So, in some situations, in some situations, somebody can ask you, "What is a noun?" A noun is a word that can be a person, place, or things or idea. For example, freedom, democracy. Okay, those are part of the noun, but we don't know what kind of noun is that. Okay? We come here. Here we, I'm talking about the person. God, Lucifer, Jesus, Angel, Demon, Adam, Eve are part of a of the person. Okay? We got Mary, Mary Madeline, we got Isabella, we got uh, Elizabeth the first, we got Queen Victoria, we got the Queen Elizabeth, okay? and also part of a uh, here the person we got Steve Jobs. We got Dennis, we got Ken, we got Bill Gates, huh? and it's still the person. We talk about the person. We got Princess Diana, Rose Park, we got Oprah, okay, so we got uh, all those people here. We got uh, Celine Dion, we got Madonna, we got uh, all those people, Christina Aguilera, Shina. so all these are the person or people. 
Same thing here, okay? These are the people I'm talking about, okay? We see Janet, Janet Jackson, Diana Rose, right? Those are the person. Same thing here. We got Pink, we got Samoria, we got Alicia Key, Lady Gaga, Shakira. Those are the person. Same thing here. So all those are the people. You can see Beyonce, Rihanna, Ashanti, Kelly. Are these, those are people. Oh, these are people, okay? So, Lilo Kim, Nicki Minaj, all these are the people. I'm talking about people, okay? Not animal, but people. We come here, Easy e Tupac, Notorian, Eminem, Nas, Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Kanye West, are part of the noun, are people, okay? Here we got the Lilo Wing, Drake, Machine Gun, Kelly, all the people, okay? Not a dia, but people. So we got Bob Marley, Michael Jackson, The Beatles, U2, Ozzy, uh, Lucky Dube, okay? These are the people. Now we have, again here, the part of speech. So we have... Um, Different people here, okay? So, still the part of the person. We got Mysterio, Eddie, we got Dominic. These are the person or people, okay? We come here. We got the rock. We got Boko team. We got Bobby Ashley, okay? Here we got different kind of people there, okay? We got The Undertaker, we got Triple H, we got Colengo, we got Stings, we got Chris Jericho, we got Randy Orton, we got John Zena, okay? We come here, we got uh, Austin, Rick Flair, The Nature Boy, woo! We got Kane, we got Shawn Michael, okay? We come here, we got Chris Benoit, we got Edge, we got uh, Kevin, okay? They stay part of the people, the person. We got Adolf Hitler, we got Joseph Stalin, we got the Churchill, we got uh, Charles de Gaulle. These are the parts of pe person, okay, or people. We got Ho Chi Minh, we got uh, Nixon, we got George W. Bush, we got Saddam Hussein, we got uh, Sarkozy, we got uh, Gaddafi, okay? We got uh, Augustine, we got Martin Luther, we got John Calvin, we got different people there, okay? We got Martin Luther King, we got Patrice Lumumba, we got Malcolm X, we got Louis Falcon, okay? We got Fidel Castro, so all these are the, we talk about person or people. Yeah, we got Franco Luambo, we got Papa Wemba, we got Lokwa Kanza, we got in Kester, we got Kofi Olumide, we got uh, Werasone, we got uh, Jibe Piana, we got Ferre Gola, okay? We got uh, the place now. Here I'm talking about the place now. You are, the other place I was talking about, it was person. Now we're going to talk about the place. Europe is a place. Europe, Africa, Asia. America, Australia, okay? We have uh, Israel, Congo, Egypt, okay? The things, we got computer, we got dogs, we got airplanes, okay? We have the part of speech, we talk about the noun. Now, we have a lot of them here, different type of noun. We got the proper noun, we got the proper noun, common noun, singular noun, plural noun, count noun. So, there's a different type here, okay? Now, 
we, I'm gonna focus here with um with a proper noun. Yeah. So when we talk about a proper noun, it has to be um like um a proper noun is a noun that names a specific person, place, things, or idea. Okay. So let's say in this case we're dealing with the proper noun. When I say specific, you have to be careful here, okay? The title, the name of the place, holiday, month, and days of the week. We capitalize them. Not the season. Like if we say winter, summer, spring, fall. You don't you don't cap we don't capitalize them. You don't capitalize them, okay? You cannot we don't do that. So for example here, I'm we're talking about the street. Street, road, avenue, highway, freeway. Okay? These are the we have to be careful when we name them. If I say street, street is not a proper noun, but if I say um Let's say 45, 45 uh, Mohawk Street North, something like that. We can, capital, we can you can use a, a, a Apple, uh, Apple uh, like, the big, like a big letter if, in case you don't get it. Okay? So you can, we can do cap, uh, capitalize them, okay? You can do that. But this one, you have to be careful how we use them. I'm going to show you guys how we use them, okay? We come here, King Street West, King Street East, Main Street West, Main Street East. Look at it again, King Street West, King Street East, Main Street West, Main Street East. Okay. We come here, John Street North, because John is a proper noun. That's why I capitalize here. And here, John Street North, Main Street South, York Street West, Queen Street. Okay, guys, these one are the this name. When you move to Canada, you have to know this name. This is street name. If you're driving downtown, most of the time when you're driving downtown, pay attention. I don't care if you're going you you drive in Toronto. Mississauga, Ontario, London, Ontario, Windsor. When you're in downtown Toronto, you're going to hear this name. When you're in a Mississauga or uh, let's say you're in a Hamilton, Ontario, you're in London, you're always going to hear the King Street West, King Street East. You're going to hear Main Street West, Main Street East. Most of the time, it's, a, it's one way. Okay? So you have to pay attention when you're driving in Ontario, okay? If you decide to move in Canada. Same thing here. We have uh, no, uh, John Street North, Main Street South, York Street West, Queen Street, okay? So if we go back a little bit, you're going to hear also Apple James North, Apple James South, Young Street, Victoria Street, you're gonna hear this a lot. Those streets they located in downtown. Downtown. Okay? Now in downtown, if you're gonna see that I mean, some of them, especially this one and this downtown. Okay. We come here. You you should turn right on the next street. You should turn right on King Street West. You should turn right on King Street East. You should turn right on Main Street West. You should turn right on Main Street East. One more time. You should turn right on the next street. You should turn right on King Street West. You should turn right on King Street East. You should turn right on Main Street West. You should turn right on Main Street East. Okay? So. 
you should turn right on the next street. You should turn right on John Street North. You should turn right on John Street South. You should turn right on James Street North. You should turn right on James Street South. Okay? I'm here to help you guys. You don't get it? Ask. Okay? Ask. It's my job to help you guys. You should turn right on the next street. You should turn right on Apple James North. You should turn right on Apple James South. You should turn right on York Street North. You should turn right on York Street South. Okay? I'm here. Who is the best doctor to see for my eyes? Now, take a look. Here we're talking about the title. Title. I think Dr. Kevin is the best eye doctor in the, in the area. Our local newspaper is called the Oakville Journal. Now, in this case, we're talking about the title. Now, when we go back, I was talking about the, the name, the street name here. Here, the street name, those one. The street name, okay? Those one are the street name. Okay, street name, this one, okay? Now, if I go back here, same thing. These are the street name, this one, okay? In Canada, those street in Canada. I'm talking about Ontario. Ontario is a province in Canada. Now, uh, let's say you decide to go to travel in Toronto, Mississauga, uh, uh, let's say Oakville, Hamilton, Ontario, London, Ontario, you're going to see this street, John Street. You're going to see this street, King Street, Main Street. You're going you're gonna to see them when you're driving downtown, okay? So, um, yeah, so in this case here, I'm talking about the title. So, um, doctor. Doctor before the name Kevin is, come on now, because there's a lot of doctor. There's a lot of student. There's a lot of pastor. There's a lot of um, dentist. But we don't know. But in this case, we talk about Kevin. Kevin is a doctor. That's why I end up putting the capital D. When you take a look here, it's small letter. Who is the best doctor to see for my eyes? Here, no capital. But when I say, when I the way I write here. I think Dr. Kevin, because of the Kevin, is a proper noun. That's why I end up, uh, I end up writing doctor in the capital letter. Now, uh, our local newspaper, newspaper is not capital. I don't capitalize newspaper because it's, a, it's not a proper noun. But I capitalize if you take a look right here. Because Oakville uh, Juno is a proper noun. Okay? We go next. The cells meaning will be her. So if you take a look, I'm going to go slowly here in case you don't get it. So here I'm talking about the, uh, uh, the place. The place. I'm talking about here you're going to see the Quebec City. Here I'm talking about Windsor. Here you're gonna see I'm talking about uh, uh, the friends. You're gonna see the friends, uh, uh, the friends here. Here I'm talking about UK. Now when you take a look, right? They kind of mix the proper noun and a common noun. Now, if for example, let's say uh, last year. The winner of the sales competition went to the went to Windsor. Windsor is a city in Ontario, right? It's a capital one. It's it's a, a proper noun. Now, winner is a common noun. Now, Kevin is a proper noun. Friends is a common noun. Stephen is a proper noun. UK is a proper noun because we only have UK. Steve is a proper noun. 
Amy was born in Canada. Amy is a proper noun. Canada is a proper noun because we, ha we have only Canada. Wang is a proper noun. China is a proper noun. Una is a proper noun. Japan is a proper noun. Eh? We come here. This June has been very hot. Especially Father's Day. When you take a look, June is capitalized. That's why I put here. Okay? Holiday, month, and the days of the week. We, we capital, you capitalize them. Okay? So, this June has been very hard. You're going you're gonna to hear people say bean or ben. It's okay. Especially the Father days. Okay? So, we capitalize. This one, it's a holiday. You, you, you write them in a capital letter. Okay? Please make an appointment for the next Thursday, a week. Frank likes your sister. This one is proper noun. This one is the common noun. My brother likes your sister. Both of them are the common noun, not the proper noun. Jerome and Savannah want to be the doctors. Abby became a high school teacher. Kevin is the manager of this building. Now, when you take a look, Jerome is a person, is a proper noun. Savannah is a person, is a proper noun. Doctor is a common noun because we have a lot of doctors. We don't know. It's like a student. And now, Abby is a person. High school teacher is a person, but we don't know because we have a lot of high school teacher. Okay, in this case, is a common noun. Now, Kevin is a proper noun. Manager is a common noun because we, we have a lot of manager. We don't know, right? We come here. So, like the way I explained, in case you don't get it, that's why I end up putting like this. Okay? Now, again, that this part we deal with the proper noun. Now, we're going to work on the common noun. Okay. So, the, the noun, so the common noun, okay, is a noun that do not refer to, uh, the way I can put it, like a person, place, things, or idea. Okay? Something like that, just to get you understand, okay? So, look, um, in case you don't get it, watch it a few times, okay? So, I know the video is kind of long, but it's okay. Uh, we have a common noun. We got country. We got student. We got teacher. We got professor, we got language, we got uh, brother. Because we have a lot of country, but we don't know the name of it. We got a lot of students, we don't know their name. We got a lot of teacher, we don't know their name. If you say, let's say you are in, in class, you say student. They're going to hear you, you say student, but they, know, they don't know whose student you're calling, you're talking, or you're calling, right? Same thing with the professor. If I go in a room and say there's a lot of professor, they say, professor, they know. He, he, they know you say professor, but they don't know who you're talking to, uh, talking about, right? So, we come here, same thing. Grandpa, grandma, father, mother, uncle, cousin, nephew are the common noun, okay? We come here, month, friends, women, boy, girl, men are the common, are the com as are not the proper noun, okay? So, you have to be careful, are the common noun. We come here, supermarket, church, school, other, common noun, okay? We come here, daddy, engineer, sister, doctor, other, common noun, okay? We come here, tenants, landlord, superintendent, building, manager, parent, other, common nouns, okay? We come here, African wife. Asian wife, European wife, Latino wife are the common noun, okay? Not the proper noun. We come here, 
Russian wife, Japanese wife, Chinese wife, Korean wife, Vietnamese wife, okay? We come here, French wife, Dutch wife, English wife, Belgium wife, Canadian wife, American wife, Irish wife, okay? We come here, Congolese wife, Indian wife, Portuguese wife, Italian wife, Filipino wife, okay? Huh? European husband, African husband, Asian husband, American husband, Australian husband. Okay? We come here, white husband, black husband, mixed husband, Métis husband, Six Nation husband. Okay? We come here, French husband, Dutch husband, English husband, Belgium husband, Canadian husband, American husband, Irish husband, okay? So these are the common nouns, okay? We got the Russian husband, Japanese husband, Chinese husband, Korean husband, Vietnamese husband, okay? We got Congolese husband, Indian husband, Filipino husband, okay? There's a lot of Filipino husband, but we don't know their name. So, Kevin is a friend of mine. The girl, the girl likes to play tennis. Where is the church? Now, when you take a look, the girl I'm talking about here is a common noun because there's a lot of girl. Church, same thing is a common noun and friends is the same thing because we have a there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of friends we don't know who the friend the friends you're talking about if i say friends we don't know the name of it if i say my friend gillen is my friend in that case we know gillen right is your friend for sure so we come here my dad want to be an engineer. My dad wants to be an engineer. My sister wants to be a doctor. Are you a tenant? I'm a land landlord. I'm the superintendent of this building. I am the manager of this building. Okay. So when you take a look here, we have dad. Okay. Dad. We got engineer, we got sister, we got doctor, we got a tenant, we got landlord, we got superintendent, eh? we got the uh, superintendent here, we got the manager. These one are the common noun, okay? So now we're going to deal with the singular noun, a book, a napo, an umbrella, the book. These are the singular noun, okay? Singular, because we have a here, okay? A book, a napo, an umbrella, the book. These are the singular noun, okay? Now we got the plural noun. We have the books, some books, any books you're going to see here. But in, I have the other course. I'm going to explain to you a regular noun. Okay. Some noun change. Okay. Like lady. You're not going to put S at the end of it. So you have to be careful. But I'm going to show you guys how we, uh, we, uh, change, uh, irregular noun how it works on my the other book in my um the other course is coming okay please you know i'm gonna post them for you guys now we have a uh, count now some noun you can count them okay some of them you can you cannot count them okay so for example a book an apple three three brothers you can count them so they are Count noun, okay? 
one book, two books, three books. One and like you, you have what, one border, two border, three border, four borders. Those one are the noun. You can count those noun. That's why we call count noun. Okay. We have uh, some noun. We call them no count. You can noun. You cannot count them. Okay. That's why I say no count noun. I refer to the things that they cannot be count. Okay. For example. Beer, coffee, salad, gas, beauty, fire, light, sound. You don't count them. You don't say one beer, two sugar, two furniture. No, you don't count them. For example, information, evidence, research, work, news. Those ones are the no count noun. Okay. So we don't count them. Huh? We have a cash change, homework, traffic, parking. Those one are the no count noun. Okay. We don't count them. This one we don't count. Cash change, homework, traffic, parking. Okay. We don't count them. Okay. We have rain, money, snow, butter, wind, air. Clothes, sugar, furniture, we don't count them. They are no count noun, okay? We don't count them. Same thing here. I would like coffee. I would like tea. Kevin wants salad. I smell gas. So, what happened is, I would like coffee, okay? In this case, you, don't, you cannot count coffee. I would like tea. It's a... You don't count them. Kevin wants salad. We don't count salad. I smell gas. You don't count them. One gas, two gas. We don't count them. Okay? Gold is a precious metal. It's a matter of life and death. Money is the root of all evil. Now, gold, you don't count them. Life, you don't count them. Death, we don't count them. Money, okay, we don't count them. We come here. Now we have a compound noun. Compound noun is made up of two or more words, okay? So, like, um, police officer, policeman, police women are the compound noun. Okay, this is the one I'm talking about. This one. So, police officer, policeman, police women. We don't say policeman anymore or police women. We don't say it. We say police officer. Okay? So, when you say policeman, mm, it's okay, I understand, but we say police officer. Okay? So, when we say police officer, refer to both male and the female. If you say policeman, it's okay, I understand, but yeah, it's kind of, you know, your level is very low. But when you say police officer, yes, that's, you know. We come here. Uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, water, tan uh, water tanks, uh, birthday, okay. We got the french fries, school teacher, toothpaste, okay. Eh? Now we got the concrete. Uh, so here we have also the concrete noun. Okay, so they refer to a person, things, a place. We got like father, mother, brother, sister. Okay. We have like doctor, lawyer, teacher, student. Okay. For the things we have like computer. We have like computer, books, car, table, phone, okay? This part of the things, okay? And we got also like dog, fish, cat, okay? And we got the mountain for the place. We got the mountain, the school, house, park, beach, restaurant, okay? Now we got abstract noun the abstract noun refer to the things that cannot be like you cannot see them you cannot uh, see them you cannot smell them 
So let's say, for example, beauty. You cannot smell beauty. You cannot touch it. Love, anger, honesty, okay, hatred, calm, success. We don't see them. Wisdom, sleep, wealthy, surprise. We don't see them. We also have a possessive noun. So the possessive noun, uh, in case you don't get it, it's like something that you own, okay? So most of the time we use apostrophe, okay? So you have to be careful here, okay? So a possessive noun means something you own, okay? So... For example, here we have uh, the guest dinner, our group's report, the children clothes. Okay, so you take a look. The guest dinner equal the dinner that belongs to the guests. Our group report, our group report. So um, in that case, in case you don't get it, it's like um. So here, I'm going to fix it in case you don't get it right, okay? Yeah, so in case you don't get it, that's how uh, I fix it. So our group report, so equal the report belonging to our groups. Groups, okay? So the children clothes, the clothes of the children, okay? So that's how uh, we use it, okay? And we have a collective noun. So we got the police, uh, the government, the family, uh, the staff, the team, and the gang. Okay? So these are the collective noun. Okay. So I know the video is kind of long. So uh, I just want to cover this part because uh, maybe in some situation, you don't know the noun, you know, what I'm talking about. You don't know about it. For example, uh, the collective noun, maybe you don't know about it. So uh, the main reason... I decided to teach you guys this is um, when we start writing uh, the paragraph, I want you to know or I want you to learn how to write the sentence, the simple sentence, compound sentence. So I'm going to try my best as I can to help you to understand this because if you don't know the noun, you don't know the verb, you don't know the adjective, you don't know the adverb, you don't know the preposition, you're going to have a hard time to write a sentence. If you don't know how to write the sentence, then how are you going to write the paragraph? Okay? So, I'm going to stop here for today. So, thank you so much. You guys take care. Bye-bye.